that's the solution of the task if you see here i'm just imported axios and use it use query and imported our endpoint from config file this config file i stored the endpoint here in this config file okay and i'm created my request axios to get this endpoint and return use query with the query key that's important key and we're gonna use it today and fetch box functions and inside box screen i've just imported use git box hook from hooks here and just render the data and add an activity indicator if the data is loading okay now in this lesson we're gonna learn how to post a new hook how to create a post request using react query so let's create a new hook for posting box inside our hooks here let's create use post book dot ts first we're gonna import axios from axios because we're gonna need this library for handling http requests second we're gonna import those two important hooks from react query those two hooks is use mutation to post the data and use query client because we're gonna create invalidating to compare the cached data i'm gonna tell you later and finally import our endpoint from config slash config endpoint this endpoint is the url if you look at here that's the url of the box okay now let's create our hook const use add pack equals to a function let's define the query client equals to use query client and let's create our function const post book fn equals to async function book data and let's create our promise const data equals to await axios dot post our endpoint and our body let's make this book data let's make it book body like that and when we post this request we want to write this line of code query client dot invalidate query and let's put the key of our box that key why are we doing this i'm gonna tell you this line of code this invalidate queries is used to invalidate a specific query in the react query cache because this mechanism provided by react query to manage and update cached data okay so when we post a new book i want to get the last book that i have added in this list okay then let's return our data now inside our hook let's return our use mutation and inside it we're gonna put this function finally let's export our hook to use it everywhere that we want export default use add book now let's press save and go and test this hook here inside box screen let's create a, a test button When we press on it let's fire this function on add bug fn what are we gonna do in this function i'm gonna tell you let's define it here first let's import our hook const something equals to use add bug we can destruct here many things the status the is success the mutate the data the error and is loading now i'm gonna use this mutate to post data okay now let's make this function async because we're gonna make asynchronous operation then let's await mutate and inside this mutate let's put the body what's the body we have here in this body name of the book author and price okay that's name of the book let's create a test one author let's make it test author and price let's make it 30 okay now let's try to test this function let's press test here let's go down 
great we have added a new book with id 11 with test one the author is test author the price is 30. let's try one more time let's make this test two and let's make this author two and let's make this price two let's press save and press test button again great when we press test button now we have a book with id 12 with test 2 and author 2 and two dollars of price now you've learned how to post data using react query don't miss the next lesson because we're gonna add two inputs here because we do this statically i mean this static values we want to create two inputs or three inputs for the name of the book and author and price and handle them to add the data using those inputs so don't miss the next lesson and thanks for watching